Hi, this is my voice. And, um, I don't really know. I'm just gonna make a video on this, I guess. Uh, I play Monster Jam Steel Titans 2 a lot, as you guys probably know. And I have a giant collection of little monster trucks, and I just thought I might as well make a video on them. So, here we go. Also, I have a little, like, little story on most of them that I remember particularly that I'll just tell you because I can. So, my first truck that I have right here is um, the, oh god, it is so blurry, uh, the Black Stallion monster truck. I remember specifically with this truck that one time I was really sick and I was really desperate to play with my trucks and this was the one the only one that I was ever allowed to play with because I was so sick so I played with that one because that was the only one I could so yeah um uh this is the special silver Hot Wheels monster truck it's really cool I like it I got it a few years ago I think something like that and, oh yeah, I forgot, um, I have a bigger collection than this, but the rest of my monster trucks are in the attic, and this is only a few, like, a quarter of them, but yeah, there's, I definitely have a lot, um, so, we have this silver one, he's really cool, I like him, I don't have a story for this one because I got this one so recently, but yeah, really cool truck, I like it, uh, this one right here, is the Superman monster truck. Um, I like, I don't really care for this one. I was thinking about selling it because I need money for something that I'm buying soon. And yeah, I was just gonna sell this for the money that I needed. Uh, the story I remember specifically is that I could always open up Escape, just open it up, and I would always leave it unhooked so when I would drive it around it would look like Escape was flapping. That was it. Really, all I ever used them for. But, yeah. Next, we have uh, the Captain America monster truck. One story I remember specifically was, I would always have these monster jams re recorded on the DVR. And Captain America came up on one of them. And he was one of them that I had at the time. So, I would always, as I was watching the Monster Jam, make sure that I would go grab the ones that I, that I saw, and then try to repli replicate what I saw them do. And I did this with Captain America. It's pretty cool. Um, this is the Spider-Man Monster Truck. Uh, story I have with this one. Oh no, that's not supposed to be like that. Um, okay. So, the story I have with this one, specifically, is... Oh, no, hold on. Is that, um, I would always ask my mom if these are real trucks or not, because I was never too sure. But, this was the one that I specifically remember asking about, and... And she just told me, any monster truck you can buy is definitely a real truck. I was just like, oh, makes sense. So, that's Spider-Man. Here is, um, oh god, blurry. Is Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Really cool truck. My dad likes this one because he's, like, a, a, all about the military and stuff. He likes that kind of stuff. Um, and basically the story I remember for this one is that since I would leave them all in a giant bucket... His axles for his wheels were, like, really bent. So every time he drove, he drove really wobbly. Yeah. So I had to get my dad to fix that one. But it was pretty cool. Why do I always say that? Okay. This one is uh, the Wolverine monster truck. I never really liked this one. So my idea was monster trucks like dirt. And I don't like this truck. So I'll throw it out in the dirt, and you can definitely tell that there was dirt in it before. Lots of dirt. I cleaned it off recently because I wanted it to look nice, but I just decided to throw it in the mud. Uh, right here 
is my first version of the zombie monster truck. Uh, I didn't like this one because he didn't have the arms and he just came with a little tie. And the only story I really have with him is that I would just do monster jams with him. I would only do monster jams with the ones that I saw mainly. And this was one of them. So I used him. And my... Where is it? There we go. The one that I actually prefer is the one with arms. And this one is like the newer version. It's really high quality and, and stuff. It has like the, the BKT on the tires. And it has arms. And it just feels a lot better than the, the rest of them. So that's why... I just preferred to use this one than the other one. Um, right here, Iron Outlaw. Oh, God, blurry. Blurry? Blurry? Blurry. It won't unblur. There we go. Okay. Uh, Iron Outlaw. I don't have a specific memory. All I remember was that I thought the rims were really cool because it had this like weird little red part on it. Mm, that's really it for this one. I like this truck. One of my favorite monster trucks ever is Monster Mount Rottweiler. And this one is like a special one. It has like snow tires and stuff. Snow E tires. And then I don't really have a memory with this one. Other than I thought it was really cool because it had snow tires. Oh yeah, that's all for this one. Uh, there we go. Uh, I really hate myself for this, but when I was really little and I would play with these, I would always take the mohawk off of Mohawk Warrior, and I lost it. I have a feeling I know where it's at, but I'm not going to look for it because it's really hard to get to. So, yeah, it's just Warrior. But it also has these really cool big wheels. It's like plastic, and it sounds weird. I like it, though. Right here, another one of my favorites, oh no, another one of my favorites is Northern Nightmare. Um, one of the only Canadian trucks for Monster Jam that I, I really like it. I don't have a memory for this, oh, why is this tire like that? Hold on, let me fix that. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I don't have a memory for this one, except for I would have Monster Jams with this one because I really liked it. And, yeah, I really like this truck. Um, let's do the Grave Diggers. Here we go. So, I have the first ever Grave Digger that was, like, ever actually a thing. Uh, really casual. I don't really like it too much because of how, like, not really, like, monster trucky it seems. It just seems more like an off-road car kind of thing. But, yeah. I got that one really recently, so I don't really have any memories with it. Yeah. Uh, Gravedigger the Legend. Uh, the best memory I have with this one is that I had this little uh, Nintendo version of Path of Destruction. Yeah, DS version of Path of Destruction. And he was the final person to unlock. So that's the only memory I ever have of this truck specifically but still a really cool truck because it's just the before of the actual grave digger which i have right here if you have like these tiny die cast monster trucks i don't know if, if it's even possible for you to not have a grave digger because i think they still sell grave diggers now but yeah grave digger i don't really have any memories with him Except for that, uh, I was gonna give him away to the kids, but I didn't because we never did. But yeah, because I had like two of them, so I was gonna keep one for myself and then give the other one to the other person. But I never did because we couldn't, so yeah. Uh, let me find, there we go, here's a good one. Uh, Predator, right here. I always would rather have had Snakebite, so I always called him Snakebite because he had the fangs. 
I have Snakebite, but he's like in a weird version that I don't really like. So, I just used to call him Snakebite. That's my memory. But I realized he was Predator and not Prowler. Because I thought he was Prowler and not Predator. That was before I knew how to read. So, yeah. This is a really cool trick and I like it a lot. Alright, here we go. Metal Militia. Uh, my memory with this truck is, I remember, we would come to Walmart every single day to buy one of these monster trucks. And my dad found this one and he really liked it. And he was, and he was like, you should get this one. But I said, you know what, no, I'll, I'll get that one next time. And then we came back the next time and I bought a different truck. And then I said, I'll get that one next time. And then it took three different times before I finally got him next time. But, yeah, that was my memory. He's really cool. I like him. I specifically liked him because he was litter. Also, I remember watching him, like, break a record, a world record for the highest jump ever on TV, I think. It might not have been that, but who knows. I like this truck a lot. Here's a truck I really don't like. Inferno. Uh, I have zero memories with it because I never played with it. It wasn't a fun truck. I, lit I only bought it because it had fire on it, and back when I was very little, I thought fire on car equal look really cool. So, yeah, that's why I have that one. Soon enough for my gameplays, I will have a mic that I'll be able to record my voice so I won't have to use the text stuff anymore. But uh, for in the meantime, uh, I'll just keep on doing the text until I figure that out. So, yeah, Inferno. Alright, time for the last, uh, probably like 15. Uh, the Hot Wheels original monster truck. I don't have a memory for this one except for that I, I bought that one because I didn't like having these plasticky tires on them. So I bought, I got this one first, and then I realized, oh, I don't like those ones. So I got this one instead because it looks cooler. And I also added, I threw him in the mud with Wolverine because I was having a monster gym with him. Yeah. It's gross. I remember this one. So, there was one specific monster truck I was desperately wanting to have, and it was Jurassic Attack. And I had another monster truck that, was, that wasn't Jurassic Attack. It was like, class, something attack and i thought it was like jurassic attack before he had like the the kind of dinosaur of him but when i found him i was like oh i mean it it's him but it has these weird plastic wheels so i was super excited to have him but i also wasn't because i really didn't like the plastic wheels but yeah this is my that was my memory for him oh i forgot a grave digger this is the blackout version of grave digger uh when we were putting all the other monster trucks in the attic, I was putting my more sentimental monster trucks and keeping them, like, with me. So, if I ever wanted to use them, I could. And this one I kept because it could be, like, worth a lot of money in the future, which I really doubt, but who knows. It's kind of like a McDonald's toy. But, yeah. Oh, speaking of a McDonald's toy, I, I found during the selling of the monster trucks at McDonald's, I got Tiger Shark, and during 4th of July, I said, well, he's a McDonald's toy, and I don't really like him, so I decided to absolutely destroy him with fireworks, and firecrackers, and sparklers, and burny things. It was pretty cool. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. And it used to be two pieces right here. It could disconnect, but now it doesn't really. It smells like fire, and it's gross. Ooh, here we go. Uh, El Toro Loco. I had three different El Toro Locos, and this is the only one that actually has horns. I had the yellow one and the orange one, and both of their horns broke off. I also had Bulldozer, and he had his horns, but I never kept him with me. He's up in the attic. Still pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was my only memory, that this one was the only one that actually had its horns. So, yeah. Ooh, here we go, good one. Blue Thunder, really cool one, but I have one specific memory that I always hated, that the back never said, feel the energy. 
I was really annoyed by that all the time. But yeah. Blue Thunder is a really cool truck. And I like it. So yeah. Sorry, I heard a creepy noise. It's the middle of the night, and I don't like that. All right. Okay. This one always confused me. Backwards Bob. I always was wondering if he was actually backwards in the shows, because I never understood how that was even possible. How could they make a truck backwards? Like, literally. So, I thought that they moved all the controls around and he would be looking like out the back but it would still be like everything normal just that all the steering and stuff would be in the back and all that or like turned around but and then just a few days ago my dad told me that it's just the body that's flipped it's nothing else so yeah i'm kind of an idiot for thinking that but who cares uh here's a custom monster truck i made i called it the wagon uh i don't know why it's actually the body. It's just the screaming doom, the the raising cane monster truck. And yeah, why am I so shaky? Oh, that's weird. And yeah, I named him the wagon. I don't know why. It just seems pretty cool. Uh, truck I didn't really ever like was Batman, but my dad liked it. So, and I was always trying to make sure my parents always felt good. So I, I bought. I got that one, so, for my dad, because he liked it, so I bought it. Well, I didn't buy it, my parents got them for me, because I was a little kid, and I didn't have money. But yeah, Batman, that's the only reason I ever got him, because my dad liked him. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Iron Man. Uh, I remember that I would always grab all my Marvel characters. I had Wonder Woman. Uh, Iron Man and Captain America, and I would just pretend they were like superhero monster trucks, and do races, and they they could like catch bad guys and stuff like that. My brain was a lot more creative than it was than it is now, but yeah. Um, Captain's Curse. My specific memories with this game again, where. Basically, he was the hardest truck to unlock in the game because I had to do this really, like, tight turning thing. If you guys have played it, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, which you probably haven't, you don't know what I'm talking about. Still really cool. I love this truck. He's awesome. Pirate's Curse. Okay, so I remember a specific memory with him. I remember the first time he ever came out into a show, and I saw him... And I was like, no, they replaced Captain's Curse with this thing, this beast that I didn't like. But I still bought the truck because I wanted the truck, and I got it because I wanted it. But yeah, that's all for this one. Oh my god. So, this one right here, Bone Shaker, I broke these things off, and I just entirely ruined having this truck for me. But, and I was looking so hard to find it anywhere possible. And one Christmas, my parents got it for me. And I was just like, oh my god, so awesome. Because I wanted it. I wanted it really bad. So, yeah, Bone Shaker, really cool. Uh, Crush Station, I remember that. Uh, I remember watching him on the TV and I knew that he had his yellow things, the, the little yellow snap stoppers. And I gave it to him. I put it... I, I, I remember looking at him, and I realized that he didn't have them. I was just like, that's kind of disappointing because I want the full thing. But I just realized that this is actually just like a different model version. So, yeah. I like this truck too. Just not as much as the others. My definite favorite monster truck of all time... Well, second favorite monster truck of all time is Maximum Destruction. Specifically Maximum Destruction, not Max D. I love Max D, but still, Maximum Destruction is, like, my favorite truck. Especially this one. Uh, I have a memory with him also. Uh, in this game, he was my favorite character. He was my favorite truck and my favorite character. So, yeah. And here is my number one 
100% favorite monster truck that I've ever owned. Grinder. I remember so hard that I saw him in this game. Again, this game was my, like, entirely life. I 100%ed it and got all the achievements and everything. Um, and I saw him, and I was like, wow, he's so cool. I really want him. But since I wanted him bef while he wasn't being, like, m mass produced, he was super rare and hard to find. And, um, so... I remember that one time we were walking through a J.C. Penney's, I think it was, or something like that. It might have been a Kohl's, but we were walking by and we saw a giant set that included three monster trucks and um, a giant ramp that went downwards, like to race them. And he was one of the monster trucks. And my mom bought that entire set just so I could have this one monster truck. And I'm so thankful that for that because that was a very stupid decision. But, yeah. And that's all the monster trucks that I have right now, like, out with me. But, yeah. Also, if you want a face reveal, I could do that sometime. Give me, like, three likes and I'll do it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really cool. I love this truck. That's all. Uh, the next Monster Jam Soul Titans 2 video is going to be out in like the next probably 20 minutes. Who knows? So if you guys are watching this, then that means the next video will probably be out. Like if you're watching this right as soon as it comes out, then the next video will probably be on in like 10 minutes. But who knows? Who knows? Might be 20. Might be two years. But that's all. Okay. Uh, bye. Oh yeah, that's what I use as a, as my stand. Super cool. All right, that's all. Bye.